In the course of the last six months, my ownership of the X6 has been slightly up and down, but today I've come down to Rev It Up UK because I'm going to have a look through their inventory and look at maybe next year's car. Although the X6 is great and it's not going anywhere anytime soon, just want to have a little quick look around their inventory because my god, the cars in here are mega. Let's have a quick look around, shall we? Although this car isn't performance based whatsoever, I had to park it next to uh, its sister basically. Another Stormtrooper truck. This is the uh, Onyx kitted Bentley Bentayga that Revit Up have down here. And uh, yeah, this is a goal. I know a lot of people, it's a very controversial car, don't get me wrong, or truck I should say. But my god, in person, just gonna point out a couple of bits. Carbon fiber literally everywhere on this thing with the Bentley logos in there. I know a lot of people probably won't appreciate this truck. But obviously, because I have this, this is the sort of goal idea of trucks. Sat on 24-inch wheels as well, with the diamond in the middle. Absolutely mega thing, and going around carbon fiber everywhere. Now I know, don't get me wrong, this is not something that you guys want to see or whatever, you know, but I like my truck, so I just wanted to point out that that is a mega, mega car. And wow, in person, Next to the X6 as well, it actually looks really good. Shows how white that is, and this is sort of a pearl white, this car, but the Onyx kit on there is mega. Coming round though, camouflage, rev it up UK, Audi R8, just say, look at the state of it. Absolute mega. Is this car goals? Let me know below. Is this your car goal right here? I know it might be mine, but there's something else I have to point out. This M4, I did Mike's S3 way back um, on the channel when I was up in Manchester last. This is his new car, and I've got big love for this. And uh, uh, started off the day by getting the keys to it, which is pretty sick. So, my first sort of M4 experience is going to be in front of you guys because I haven't actually seen anything to do with these cars. Very, very exciting. And look at inside all the carbon and stuff with M4 and the seat. He's still got the plastic on it. Oh, what a ledge. That looks mega inside. Very, very nice car. And I'm loving the color of this as well with the uh, wheels of carbon on the back. Yeah, that's a mega, mega car. But anyway, that's enough of the car part. Let's head inside, have a look at their stock because I'm genuinely so excited to see what I may replace the X6 with next year once I've had fun with Stormtroopers 4x4s, because that can't last forever. Hello, Rebel Up Mark speaking. Hello there, I've come to have a look at your inventory. Oh, hi, no problem. So, what's your name? James. Thank you, James. I'm mate. Lovely. No, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hello, buddy. Hello, mate. Okay. Have a look in here, shall we? Okay, so jumping inside, rev it up. The amount of stuff in here, next level. Let's start with this now. Unfortunately, this is actually, well, fortunately or unfortunately, this is up for a raffle at the moment, actually. You can get the tickets online, they're £10 each, or go through it at the end of the video, but I can't purchase this one. Although it would be fantastic daily driver, the going up in price and all that sort of good stuff, this is actually in a raffle. So that's the first car I really wanted to talk about in this video, is the Mark 1 RS. Although I love my RSs and I love the idea of, especially owning a Mark 1, appreciating the value and how good they look. I mean, they are just looking better and better by the day. So although I would absolutely love to go into detail about this one, you could actually buy this for a tenner if you go to the raffle, but I'll show you that at the end of the video. You know i've driven a fair few of these on the channel from you know relatively standard power all the way up to silly silly brake horsepower fantastic car but again in the raffle so i can't have it now i'm not even gonna lie the old man in me really really wants this cl63 absolutely love these cars and what an amazing amount of car for the value nuts nuts amount of value 6.2 litre v8 that you get in the c63 in these but Oh, look at the absolute beauty that is this coupe inside. Absolutely awesome. On the black as well. It's massive in person as well, I didn't know. But this 
is actually not a slight contender, but it's something that the definite old man in me would absolutely love. Yes, as a daily driver, the engine is massive and it will do, you know, <laughs> fancy MPG figure, don't get me wrong, but what a machine. To power you around the UK in shooting cars, that would be fantastic. What do you reckon? Let me know below. I've actually watched these depreciate over the years and love the idea of a big coupe with a big engine and stuff, especially, you know, grand touring and stuff, which I'd absolutely love to do if I ever had one of these. Now, sat behind it is another contender for my next car. Now, I do like my BMWs, don't get me wrong. That's why I thought the X6 happened. But the 135i, although I haven't yet to drive one, I have got one coming to the channel. This one behind me, fresh in at Rev It Up UK, with a slight map on it, over 300 brake horsepower. Absolutely monster of a car and it has the leather that I would definitely opt for, the red, which is very, very nice. Manual as well, look at that. So this is a proper driver's car at the end of the day. Very, very nice sort of gray, cosmic gray sort of color to the bodywork as well. And with it being a toed with a flicky up bit spoiler here. Again, another contender would be, you know, sort of a hot hatch killer, but still has the space in the boot and everything that you could ever want. And something a little bit different. I don't see many of these, you know, on YouTube. So that could be a contender. It is quite funny, my mind goes from something like this to something like that, literally within five seconds. Quite hilarious, but in comparison, I don't know. Now they're sat next to each other. I, I quite like the idea that they're, they're both literally next to each other. Hot hatchy, you know, fast, fun car, all the grand tour that you've always wanted. Mm. Now coming into the corner, we have this ST. We're running about 330 brake horsepower, so quite a lot of power through one of these STs. I've driven a few of these again. Really, really love the driving feel and, and everything you get from this shape ST. Right next to it though, is a car that although I'd love to buy, would never want to drive 20,000 miles this one has on it. 20,000 miles on this RS. So that is um, something you just lock away, I suppose, with such low mileage. I'd still want to enjoy it though, for sure. But as a daily driver, I don't think it would be something that I'd uh, be able to plow mileage into. Right now coming into a corner, one of the cars that I've been looking at for years and sort of watch the prices go down and then creep back up is the RS4. I absolutely love the saloon like this. Four doors, V8, naturally aspirated with, you know, the wide arches and stuff as sort of a factory thing. Again, something you could enjoy on long trips and stuff, but something that will light your trousers on fire at the same time. Coming inside, she's manual with the proper bucket seats as well and the blue paint, which is absolutely beautiful in person. And look at the side, I mean, pictures and, and video will never do justice to the size of these arches and how grand the car actually sits. Looks so good with the exhaust as well. Yeah, so that's something I'd, I'd absolutely love. You know, the idea of manual seats, four wheel drive, the space, pretty much anything in it as well. So that's sort of the Grand Tourer, but the fun car, so like an in-between the BMW and the CL63. Sort of an in-between car, I'd say. So lurking in another sort of corner of Rev It Up is this, something that I'm not gonna lie, I have been thinking about. I drove a couple of them around this time last year. Something that a lot of people, you know, it's an under the radar car. It's not really uh, a song and dance car. Not a lot of people really appreciate them, I don't think, especially in this red as well. Oh. Now, if you didn't know, these are a 2.3 litre turbocharged engine, but it is a direct rival for your Golfs, your Focuses, you know, the ST range and stuff. So something to think about. I did think about these last time I drove one. I absolutely love the idea of it. You know, something that not a lot of people really ever touch on is how good these MPSs are. Mega, mega car and bang for your buck. You literally cannot get anything better than this. They're seriously fast little cars, these, and the tunability of these is endless. But it's the other end of the spectrum. If you didn't want to spend as much money, you could jump in one of these quite easily. And, you know, it's a good daily driver. It's very comfortable inside. It's got the boot space. It's got four doors. It's got the power and it's something a little bit different. Turn around 
some of the other cars they have in here. Astra VXR, very, very clean example there. Type R, which I videoed one of these on the channel, completely standard one, many, many years ago now when they pretty much came out. Got this beautiful Polo GTI, look at that awesome, awesome little car. And in front of it, just have to point this out as well, because this is a bloody sick car. Lamborghini derived V10 in this S6. I bet this sounds mega with no exhaust system on it. We should buy this and put no exhaust on it. But again, another uh, sort of weird, I mean, look at the seats, nice seats in there. Another weird sort of car that, again, would never get the limelight in usual videos, but I have big love for it, because it's sat here and it's looking, and it's value for money is insane on this car. It's got V10 in it, for God's sake. It's always the old man in me that comes out when I see cars like that, and I just know that they're fast, reliable, good bit of fun and good bit of power, and value for money. Value for money is there all day long. <laughs> My God, it's already warm, but better way to go to the shop at the end of this video than in the Rev it up UK. All right, let's get in it. Oh my God, this thing is out. Oh my God, it sounds so good. Oh. Mate. Oh my God. I mean, what other mode of transport would you take in the actual rain than an Audi R8 to the shop? This sounds mega. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, hello, we're getting wet. We're getting wet. Oh God, we're getting wet. Don't want war in it. Stop it, it's getting wet. Oh, I'll put my heat seat on and then put heat seat on. Car spotting as we're going to the shop. Look at that Sora. That is, that's a good effort, mate. Bright green, Lexus lights as well. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's only a tickle of throttle and oh my actual god, that is that absolutely flies. <laughs> oh yeah. That's okay. Solid car spotting on this uh, R8 drive. Do you see that guys? It's not about supercars, it is about. Okay. Oh, I nearly got the camera. Wow, that is. Oh, the brakes are good, isn't they? Oh my god. <laughs> It's not just about car spotting. It's about R8 as well, but the R8, you know, it's car spotting and R8, it's fine. What even is that? Comment below, I don't even know what it was, but it looks sick. Oh, getting out. Oh, this thing's low. Sick. Right, Jackie Potato Run, let's do this. So my time at Revit Up is over. Unfortunately, I've got a rush back to the island, but if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Get in the comments. I want to know what you think. What do you think I should get next out of the cars that I've put on the video today, on the vlog? What do you think should come as my next sort of daily car, maybe, or even a project car next year after the X6 has gone? It is a long way away. I'm not going to, you know, take this lightly, this decision. I do want to really think about what I'm going to get next. This car is a fantastic car, but obviously I do want to change it up a bit. Massive, massive thank you to the guys at Revit Up. I will be back here shooting some more cars like Mike's M4 just there. That is gonna happen. I'm really, really excited for that. First M car, new M car I've ever done for the channel, actually. Excited. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Get in the comments. Tell me what you think of the cars. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.